Hi there, Links in Family. Jonathan here. We're joined again by Roger and Robert, even, and Cody. And I left you with a question yesterday about work and play being separate things. What do you guys think? Um, I will take that first. I think there is a great deal of, of validity to what you just described. Yes, I think there is. Um, there is a real fascinating phenomenon. If you ask a child to pretend that you're a grown up, what's the first thing the child does? <laughs> they put on a sullen face. Correct. That's yeah. exactly right. Yeah. That's precisely correct. It's very serious. It's serious business to be a grown up. Mm. Okay? And when we make education that serious business, you lose a lot. A tremendous amount. Cozy, what's your view? I think is uh, the most important thing with children and adults is to love the person. To know we, what is, who is the person you have in front of you. Mm. To appreciate the strong points, to respect the weakness, because all of us, we have a, a strong points and, and weak points, and to, to teach them how to be strong and powerful mm -hmm. with those points. And what those about those? Are not your uh, problems. What about your, joy? Th this is your your quality. What What about joy? What about happiness? How do we do that? Uh, I think Jonathan, if you love something, someone, he will be happy. Every one of us, each, each person, the most, the best, important, the most important thing is to have someone that loves you the way you are. And we are in a very perfectionist uh, society, everything yeah. from the Instagram pictures to what you are doing for your birthday yeah. must be the best, the most uh, sophisticated, and we forget. The best gift you can give someone is I love you the way you are. I don't want you to change. Mm -hmm. And I can teach you how to be, how to feel strong and powerful, although you are not perfect. There is a, a very interesting TED talk that I've referred people to before called uh, Teach Girls Bravery, Not Perfection. And it's, yeah, it's, it. it's exactly along these lines. And so it occurs to me, there's another TED Talk that um, I'll certainly put it when I post it out. Um, it's by a guy called Sean Aker, and it's about the happiness advantage. And basically he talks about the fact that at the moment, everything is over the horizon, the happiness horizon. If we work hard, if we do this, if we get this, if we see this person, if we go on these holidays, if we have this Instagram, then we'll be happy. And what happens is people get all those things and find they're superficial and devoid of happiness. And then they have a crash that's even worse. Whereas if you engage in joy as a, as a practice, then you have opened your brain to all sorts of possibilities so robert tell me how i can reach out and get help from someone like yourself or someone like Cote. we have a website mindfocuscoaching.com okay? and you can always anyone who's interested can make contact there's a there's a link that you can contact us myself dr gerard meyer the, the co-founder of Mind Focus Coaching, and we will respond, try to get you in touch with people who can, who are familiar, who have the training for Mind Focus Coaching to help you make the link and, and get the service you'd like. Now, I understand. So um, Dr. Maya uh, tells me now there's, uh, you're now in over 37 countries. Um, is that correct? That sounds about right. Yes. So you're spreading at a fast rate. And yes. um, these are all specialists in various fields of coaching and psychology. Yes. Okay. And, and the, the idea, we, we're bringing them together. And one of our hopes is that the mind-focused coaching 
principles and paradigms and methodology will be advanced through these individuals to a worldwide audience. Well, it's interesting. Have you ever seen the uh, film um, uh, Paying It Forward? Yes. Yeah, great mm -hmm. film. Yeah, so that concept where you get the help and then you offer the help to three others and it exponentially grows, um, that would be a pretty good kind of virus rather than COVID, eh? Um, <laughs> so we're almost out of time. Um, let me think what else is important. Are there any areas of the world that you currently need to get um, coordinators for? Um, I actually, I'm trying to think. Koti, do you have any, is there any place that we're, I think we're, we're still working to advance in Asia. Right. right. Uh, uh, so what's that? Uh, China, Hong Kong. Malaysia, Malaysia. Indonesia. Right, right. Okay, what about, what about the Indian subcontinent? Um, I think we have a few that 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 probably is another right. That's a zone. Um, that part of the world, the Far East in Asia, is probably the the place that we would like to expand into more now because we we've done a pretty good job with North and South America, and even Excellent. Australia. Yeah. So if you're watching this uh, video, then and you're you know someone in the Asia uh, area of the world or the Indian subcontinent, the mind focused coaching approach is something which is uh, proven to produce results, as Kosi and, and Robert will testify. So please reach out to them and uh, and join us today. Uh, Koti, uh, how would you like to have the last word or two? I don't know if, if this the last word, but think about all the those three axes. They are transversal. You can use it in every aspect of your life. And this is from dieting mm -hmm. to having a conflict in, in a couple or family with co-workers. And it helps you to make right decision. And think about that our life is a right sequence of decisions and if you are proud of every decision you make i'm sure your life is great <laughs> sounds excellent uh robert what would you uh, add um our goal has always been to improve people's lives mm -hmm. to find changes that that advance and expand we like to say that our effort is to make your life bigger and the methodologies that we present we really have been very very effective in helping people's lives get bigger one uh, question i didn't mention actually is the distinction between your uh vision and mission and um process and that of mental health because everyone's talking about mental health but you're the mental wellness society what's the yes. difference so our, our objective is to advance ideas, advance concepts, help people take charge of their own lives, mm -hmm. right? And, and have a lifestyle that's focused on wellness, as opposed to mental health tends to be a pro, you know, sort of a problem-oriented kind of reaction, right? So people have difficulties with anxiety or depression or other kinds of disorders and mental health is the service delivery system that helps them overcome those problems. Mental wellness is the idea of developing all the potential you have by having a lifestyle, by creating and advancing a life that is well, that is both physically as well as mentally well, so that you can achieve and, and enjoy the life to your to the fullest. Joy is absolutely the destination. Yeah. This methodology, the mind focus, the mind focus coaching methodology, the, the techniques can open your life to things you never thought was possible before. Wow. Cozy, last one. I think mindful choice, it takes you from the place of the, the victim of uh, your life to the position of a powerful, powerful position. Wow. To take your life in hands.